are many different ways you can measure magnetic fields, one of them being a Hall effect sensor. Another one is a magnetic reed switch. You might be familiar with them if you have an alarm system on your home. These are typically found on windows and doors. And basically inside this part of the plastic are two pieces of metal. One of them has a little magnet on it and they sit like this. And on this side is another magnet. And when this comes close to those two pieces of metal, the one will bend and deform, making a connection just like a button does. And speaking of buttons, that's exactly how we're gonna wire this up. We will use the state change code found in the Arduino IDE, so let's hook it up. Now mine came with some braided or stranded wire, so I took two little leads cut off from an LED that we used in another project and soldered them on to give me a two points for plugging into the breadboard. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into rows one and three. And I know from working with Arduino so much that they love digital pin two for all their button tests and state change. So I'm gonna go ahead and wire it up for that and then we'll take a look. So to do that, we have pin two of the Arduino and that is going to get wired to one of the wires of the contact switch. And the other wire gets plugged into positive five volts. You can see in this circuit, now when this comes in contact with those two pieces of metal with the magnet, it will close that gap right there and now pin two will receive five volts. But remember, we never wanna leave a pin floating. So the other thing we need to do is pin two can go through a 10K resistor and connect it to ground. That way pin two will always have something to listen to. In this case, it will always listen to zero, zero voltages or the ground. And when I make this connection, electricity likes to flow through the least amount of resistance. So instead of going through the 10K, it's gonna go through this into the, into the pin. So that should work out perfectly. Let's open up the code. Launch Arduino. And, oh, I have state change already open, but if you don't know where it is, you can go to examples, digital, state change detection. Here it is, pin two to five volts, pin two to ground, and then LED. Now this one will change the LED, let's say, the button pin, which is pin two in our case, LED of 13. And this will, if you look through the code right here, it reads the button pin and it stores the button state. And then if it is not equal to what it used to be, it will switch it. So that basically means on or off. It's just telling it that something has changed. So let's count that as a press. And it also prints to the serial monitor. So serial print off, serial print on, plus it keeps track of how many presses have already occurred, which is kept in the button push counter plus plus. So when you see a plus plus, it means button counter plus one more. So a quick little shorthand for adding one. So it looks like also that every time it's pressed four times, the LED will come on. We're gonna skip that part. What I'm more curious about is how the serial port works. So let me plug the Arduino in. Good there, let's upload the code. And there it's uploading. It's done. Let me open up a serial monitor. Let's see what it says. Number of button pushes, one. Well, that's interesting. So we would have to tweak the code to start it with a state of low, and that would probably put us to zero. And you can see when I bring these together, it's going to detect a state change. 